violent attack in Ocean Beach. Nearly two years later, the victim says he's still recovering. Team 10 investigator Melissa Messiha and photojournalist Ray Higgins show us the new legal action being taken as the attacker now awaits his sentencing. Our local beaches, typically a place for people to hang out, enjoy the waves, and relax. But for Kobe Law and his girlfriend, Christina Castillo, the beaches are no longer a place of comfort. It was such a great place to safely gather. We haven't gone since, not in San Diego. That day at the beach, June 15th, 2021, started off just fine. This was when mask restrictions started to relax a bit during the pandemic. Kobe and Christina were just excited to be with their friends again. But as the day continued, this became the center of an argument. We'd already been there for like five hours and some guy shows up and claiming that he had this spot and, you know, we don't belong here. We need to leave when our first intentions were, you know, you can share the spot with us. Kobe said the guy did not want to share and he returned to Ocean Beach with other people after the sun went down. Kobe said one of them punched his good friend. He stepped in the middle and I was like, get off of him. And that's when I got hit. When um, he was yelling at them to, yeah. to stop and he got between them and he got punched with his mouth open. Kobe and Christina rewatched the video of that fight during our interview. Yeah. This guy came and started attacking him as well. We're blurring it because we haven't positively so identified everyone in it. In the video, though, you hear a lot of cursing and one woman, not a part of Kobe's group, say this. One of the girls is actually insulting my friend and uh, says, or calls him a yellow uh, My friend is Asian, um, so the stereotype is there. Kobe suffering multiple injuries. I fractured my jaw in here. I had screws driven into my um, jaw and my teeth were rubber banded shut. I lost 20 pounds. Police ended up arresting Gabrielle Douglas Ramos, now 36 years old, in connection with this attack. Kobe also recently filed a civil suit against him for assault, battery, negligence, and violence based on race and national origin. His lawyer said there were no hate crime enhancements in this criminal case. Ramos, who faced an assault charge, was the only one named. He should be held accountable for what he did. and. You know, any other in the individuals who were part of the incident should also be accountable. And, you know, that's the hope with the uh, civil complaint aspect is to get more information and see, you know, who else was liable. Team 10 reached out to Ramos's criminal defense attorney who had no comment. Today, Kobe's physical health is mostly healed. I got my smile back. But he's still reminded constantly of that night. I do still have, like, numbness in my bottom lip. His emotional journey, even tougher. Even, like, now, I still feel like I need to look over my shoulder. Kobe, his girlfriend, and attorney all hoping for justice two years after this beating. I think being told that you don't belong here, this is our beach, and being beaten up for it is something that should not happen to anyone. Melissa Masiha, Team 10. And Ramos's sentencing is scheduled for this week. Team 10 will update you as this case develops.